Stewie and Courtney, first off, welcome to New York. You, you guys have won titles in the WNBA separately. You've won titles together, I believe, in uh, EuroLeague. What would it mean to bring the first title to New York, as Clara said, um, to the basketball since 73 and the first one ever for this franchise, one of the original WNBA teams? Um, well, I think like you said, uh, Sloot and I have played a lot together, won a lot together, uh, won a lot separately, but um, I speak for myself and I, I believe Sloot when I say that we both wanted to play together in the WNBA and, and go after a WNBA championship together. It's uh, much better to be on her side than, than playing against her and we're really excited with the opportunities that we have here, the players that have been here. Um, the franchise, the front office, and knowing that we have all the pieces to go after a championship, and now it's just getting ready for that and getting ready for the season. Um, just to add to that, I think we probably, well, you maybe don't know, um, but I was a part of a, um, like a first-time champion in, in the Chicago sky, and I do know how special that first one is. Um, and so, you know, it's obviously been a long time since New York had one, but to bring that first one for the Liberty, it, it is something special. And, um, of course, there's a lot of work to do before that, but um, like I think everyone up here spoke about, we had the right pieces, we have the right vision, and, you know, that's the ultimate goal. Hi, Alexa Philpu with ESPN. Um, could you both speak to the recruitment process throughout re free agency? I'm sure it was probably different than other free agency times that you all have experienced. And um, what was it about the Liberty's pitch, more or less, or how they showed their investment in you that made you want to come here? Um, well, for me, it was just like the plan, the vision right away, it was so clear. It was not dependent on this or, you know, if this happens or this happens, it's like, this is what we see. This is what we're going to go do. Um, we want to bring a championship. We want to bring the best players here. Um, we're going to take care of you. It was everything that, you know, um, I think both, I speak for both of us that we're looking for, um, you know, they're really pushing the envelope in, in, in all areas. And um, we, you know, we, I think we bought into how special it would be to bring a championship to New York. Yeah, and I think, oh, I go? still answer? Okay, cool. <laughs> um, no, I think that, first of all, when I think about the, re the recruitment process, it is wild, and it's wild to have done it two years in a row um, because it brings me back to just college recruiting, just the way it goes like that, meeting people, seeing organizations. Um, and what ultimately helped me decide on New York, obviously closer to home, I have roots here, but I want to be surrounded by greatness. And when you look at these people up here and the many people that are a part of the Liberty organization, everybody wants to be better. Everybody wants to continue to raise the standard and move the needle. And we want to do that from on the court, off the court, whatever the case may be, to help this organization and the league be better. Hello, welcome to New York. Uh, Stu, in your case, welcome back. Jeff Magliacetti with uh, All Knicks and Baseline Sports NYC. Kind of a two-part question here. Why was now the right time to end illustrious careers in championship locales to move on to what New York is developing? And how will your respective unique skill sets mesh with the current New York group and help guide them to their lofty goals? Um, I think now is the right time to do it. Um, I don't think last year I was ready to, to completely leave Seattle, and um, especially with Sue coming back, wanting to, to really enjoy and appreciate the opportunity to play with the, one of the, the greatest to ever play. And, and now looking at New York, I also have the opportunity to play with one of the greatest to ever play. Um, and it's just about timing, and, and that's really it. I, I didn't feel like... Uh, my my journey was complete in Seattle when I had when I was a free agent last year and now this year my family and I we were ready we were ready to make the move and um, just just ready to, to kind of start a new chapter in in my career and, and in the WBA and the second question I'm sorry I don't remember <laughs> <laughs> How will your unique skill set mesh with the current group? Oh, yeah. Um, I think meshing with the, the current group of players and, and obviously the coaching staff is, is going to be really exciting just because we have a ton of talent. You can look at the roster from top to bottom, and um, 
it's it's tough to find any holes in it just from from what players can do we've played with JJ before um, overseas we I've played USA basketball with Benaja and Sabrina um, Steph I played with in college so it's like I've played with a lot of these players just in a different setting and now to come together um, it's a really special opportunity because I think things like this don't happen often where you have so much talent and so many amazing players and um, the selfless, selflessness of all of us is what's going to help us succeed. Hey there, Meredith Cash with Insider. Um, welcome to New York. Uh, I wanted, you mentioned earlier, this is for both of you, but Stewie, you mentioned earlier that, you know, it feels surreal to actually be here, look around. What are you feeling right now, and what has it been like since you actually arrived in New York for this? Well, I just got here yesterday, so <laughs> it hasn't been that long. Um, but Slut and I were coming over in the car just an hour ago, and it's like, can you believe it? Like, we can't believe that it's actually here. We actually were able to make it happen. Things. A lot happened. I didn't know what suit was going to do. Still waiting on, on things to happen during free agency and um, just excited. And I think it's going to feel surreal and it's not going to feel really real probably until we practice <laughs> and I'm in Liberty clothes and working out and getting ready for a game here. But uh, it just makes me excited. It makes me excited on all fronts to be embracing this community on and off the court. Uh, in a basketball city and know that, you know, the fans are excited for us to be here too because it seems like the sales are going pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to head over to Zoom really quickly. Howard Megdahl. Well, for taking the time to chat. Um, Stewie, my, my question is for you just from a continuity perspective. You touched on it a little bit. Um, but you've done something similar overseas where you're playing with Snoop, playing with JJ. I just wonder how long does that process typically take and what are some specific ways that you go about making that work on the court and off the court that have worked overseas for you? Well, I think great players want to play with other great players. And when you have those great players, they know and they respect the people to the left and right of them so much that they know that they can make this work. And yes, we've all had success individually. When you look at the whole roster, everyone's had success. But as a collective group, this team has not yet. And that's a goal that I think that we're really interested in, in <clears throat> figuring out how to check that box. And um, I, think it's, I think it's just respect. You know, you know what everyone can do and, and letting people putting people in their in the best position possible to be great so then we can all be great together. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, uh, Jackie Powell with The Next. Uh, for both Stewie and Sloot, in both of your careers, you've been people who have been on teams that were maybe more up and coming. They were underdogs. They were rebuilding. And then you've also been on teams that have had targets on their backs. And so I guess what I'm wondering is how do you impart that, that adjustment, that change in mentality toward the younger group around you that maybe hasn't yet experienced that in the WNBA? I think as a group, you have to just um, focus on yourselves. You know, we're, we're from day one, um, everybody's going to have to sacrifice everybody up here, every every pl player on the roster. Um, but it's all to for the better good. It's all to win. Um, and it happens fast and smooth if you're all in it to win. Um, and like kind of Stewie, if you respect each other, we all want each other to be great. We want each other to um, be the best that they can be. And, th and that in turn makes us the best team. Um, and it's not always going to be smooth, you know, and, and that's the way the season goes, and I think we understand that. Um, there may be a learning curve with each other that we're, we're all coming together, but we have the right pieces, we have the right goals, um, and so we'll let the rest take care of itself. Um, yes, me. Um, now I'm, the question. now I'm just blanking a little bit on the question. Can you just give me a recap real quick? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I got you. So basically, this New York team has been building up. I got you. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Um, well, I think that, you know, when you're playing basketball in New York, you're automatically in the spotlight. So, yes, maybe it's not particularly a target, uh, but everyone's being watched. You know, people are paying attention to the liberty here, and I think that, you know, when you have, when you're in these successful positions, when you have a team that's won a championship, when you're, you know, fighting for a championship, when you're trying to build for a championship, it's, it's more about what we're doing internally than what's happening externally. And yeah, there's gonna definitely be a target on our backs already. People are already gonna be wanting to see what we can do, what we can't do, trying to exploit things left and right, I'm sure. But um, as long as we come together as a, as a team, then, then that's really all that we're concerned about up here.